Yo, what is up, guys? No here, and, um, if you guys have ever seen these before, you're probably very upset and mad and probably want to break your computer. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to remove these. 99.9% .9 of the time, this works, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of it on your web browser and on your computer. Now let's say you we don't we don't need that. Let's say you downloaded a program and it came with extra stuff and it messed something up and it was bad. And so what we're doing is we're just getting rid of it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to open up Chrome. Guys, if you don't use Chrome, get Chrome. That's like Chrome is like the number 1 so learn more okay. so this thing this is uni diesel thing I don't know what it is but it's bad okay that we do not want enabled I'm going to click delete and so that will hopefully get rid of it from here just to make sure we're gonna open it back up we're gonna go back to it you go to more tools and then you go to extensions and it's back let's see developer mode let's try opening another tab because guys I have one and I want to show you guys how upset it gets me and so okay so it's not there but that might be just because of the one thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing this until it's fully gone. And okay, this is still here. Extensions running in developer mode can harm your computer. Click learn more. Yes, that's there. All right, so that remove. And now we're just going to click X extensions for Google and we're gonna click right here nope that's the wrong one that's for Google Chrome themes okay um Google extensions okay and we're going right here to Chrome help it's going to be um, remove an unwanted extension um, select more tools extensions that's where we're at more tools extensions we're right here um click the trash icon if you're trying to delete an extension it does not work you might have an unwanted program on your computer that's keeping it there try running antivirus you can also try the software removal tool okay accept and download i'm just going to download this Watch this give me a thing. That was not fast enough. Is that seriously it? So it's going to reset all of this. We'll unpin all that. Okay, so that is, um, so I'm going back here and okay, let me go to, um, Make Google Chrome my homepage. Okay, so we have that. Um, top right corner of Chrome. Okay. Um, under Appearance. No, click Settings. Um, oh, flip. Okay. Um, show Home button. No. Okay. This is my home alright so that's what it's on um 
Google Chrome themes. Guys, this is the. This is if you want your custom Chrome theme. I have mine, and I enjoy mine. So I'm going to put mine. I'm going to check it. And it's going to apply it. Let's give it a second. Still check. Okay, theme. There it is. There's my theme. Okay. So then we'll type in. Uh, let's type in my name. Noah Fielder. Okay. So Noah Fielder. Here we go. We have. Go to more tools. We go to extensions. Look what's not there. That ad thingy, which I'm happy now because it's gone. We should subscribe. Haha. -ha. Okay. But um. Okay, also subscribe to Raging Storm, guys. That's my friend Cameron. He's a really cool guy. Um, ben Hicks, that's another friend of mine. He's he's a gappler. So, yeah. And then Risen Koala. That's another one of my friends. And he, he posts some videos right now. He's going through a video delay because we're going through a lot of school stuff. And he doesn't have any, like, footage. So, I have a lot of footage. And that's why I'm... I've been able to post some videos. Um, if you can check out the brand new video I uploaded, it's um, the Watch Dogs ending, and it's got um, a song by the Black Eyed Peas in it for the intro, and I really like it, and I would appreciate it if you guys check that out. Um, now we move on to um, flip. Okay, control this thing, this little panel. This is called your control panel. Um, I have Windows 8. That's if you don't have Windows 8, I can't really help you. Um, look up uh, uninstall. Okay, and you're just gonna scroll down, and whenever you started like dealing with ads, you think like if it just happened like today or yesterday, what you're gonna look for is you're gonna look for the day, and like 3:14. Today's 3:15, but I use Frostwire, and I know there's nothing wrong with it. And so that is fixed. But if you find it, you can easily just get rid of it. Or you can have AVG. I use AVG. It is completely free and works very well. You just click scan now. And it'll scan your computer. You can put it fast. And it just scan mine. So there's not, there shouldn't be anything wrong. But it'll get rid of everything that's wrong. It'll ask you if anything's wrong. But if you're getting like um, if you're doing if you're downloading history or not bleh, bleh, if you're downloading like a hacked program or something and this thing counts it as a virus or something, what you do is you go to virus vault. Okay, no, no, you don't. Oh wait, no, I can delete that. Go to virus vault. You just you don't have to do this. I'm doing this. Yes. Okay, so, um, you're gonna open right here, and then we're going to go to advanced settings, and we're going to exceptions, and then we're going to go to add exception, and then we click application or file, folder, whatever you want, and usually you want to click this when it's been moved to a new location, and then you browse, and then you find your file, and so then whenever you, whenever it scans, it won't scan that file, and it won't say that it's wrong. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. If it helped you, leave a like. If um, there's anything you don't understand, please let me know. I will try to help you as much as possible. Um, thanks, guys. Peace.